Welcome back guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to see how to deploy a machine learning model using Docker. So we already trained a model for uh, Iris dataset. You can watch the video on the top right corner. So I have covered how to build a Flask application uh, for this particular uh, uh, dataset to build a, a model. And after that uh, we will just uh, save the model uh, to load it for our deployment. You can also watch the entire uh, dataset exploration along with uh, model training with uh, different types of model uh, in this notebook. I also attached it in this uh, folder. Uh, all these uh, files, I will upload it in my uh, GitHub repo as well. So you can uh, reuse it. Let's just uh, run this uh, deployment file. So this is the Flask application. You can see, uh, see I have loaded the model and uh, I'm just loading this index.html, which is the GUI we are going to see. I will just show you uh, right now. And this is the predict function which we will uh, use it to predict from the model. And this is the main function. So I think from the previous file, uh, only one change uh, you have to do. Uh, you just have to update the host to uh, 0.0.0, .0 and uh, port will be 5000. You can also specify other ports if you want, but you have to change the commands accordingly. So that's pretty much it. Let's run this now. So you can see it is running this uh, in the local host port 5000 or this uh, IP address also you can use. So let me just uh, go to the host. You can see sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. I'll just randomly assign some uh, numbers here and uh, we'll just predict. So for these numbers, it's just predicting uh, class as Iris, Iris Virginica. So this is just a small end-to-end -end workflow of a trained model and how you can deploy it using a Flask. So we will do the same uh, for uh, using Docker. So let's go to the file and uh, stop this. So we have uh, stopped it and also let's just uh, reload it so that uh, we can see whether it is stopped or not you can see uh, we have uh, stopped it now let's create a docker file in this folder itself new file you can name it as docker file itself as that is a common format uh, you will be uh, using so in the docker file uh, you have to specify a image so from python 3.8 or 9 you can use anything you want which is the latest version so i'm going to use the python 3.8 which is a stable version so this will download this uh, image uh, for the first time you are running then you have to specify some uh, work directory so i'll specify the work directory I'll just uh, name it as uh, slash app and uh, we have to copy some uh, requirements because in the docker everything will be new even this python basic installation will be done using this uh, line after that you have to install some uh, additional modules to do that we will create one more file which is called uh, requirements.txt inside that we will add a flask which is used for the local server deployment and scikit-learn which is for the uh, machine learning uh, model so once you have done it we have to copy this requirements.txt uh, uh, to the uh, docker so copy requirements.txt and uh, requirements.txt so that we have like a same name. If you want to save it in some folder means you can just have slash and uh, some folder name and uh, uh, paste it there. So this is the source and this is the target. And then we will run pip install or requirements.txt. So this is the command we usually run for uh, installation of modules. So you can uh, run it in the local, but in the Docker, you want to run this command means you have to use this command. So copy is for uh, copying this uh, 
files and uh, run as for uh, installation or executing some commands uh, other than copying this requirements.txt we have to copy all the files that we have we just need uh, deploy.py which is the main file and the saved model dot uh, save which is a pickle file but uh, we are going to copy everything in the current uh, directory so copy dot and dot and in the command prompt we can have the command that we want to run so we will say python and uh, deploy dot py so python is the uh, executor uh, that we are going to use and deploy.py is the file name so this is the file name if the file name is app.py or main.py means just change the name accordingly so this is the entire docker file if you want to execute more commands before uh, this for doing some setup means you can add this uh, before executing this final command so once the docker file is ready we have to uh, run the docker in the backend so let's uh, start the docker you have to install docker desktop for this uh, if you don't know how to install docker desktop uh, you can uh, watch the video which is present on the top right corner so it's starting the uh, docker uh, engine let me just uh, clear this and uh, I think this is a long command but I'll just uh, add the commands uh, here in the readme file so it will be easy for you guys to replicate the execution so first one will be we have to build the docker image from the docker file to build the docker image use the following command so here we'll say docker build the target name which is uh, I'm going to say iris flask app you can name it anything you want and I'm present in the current directory so I'll just uh, specify it as uh, dot if you have the docker file in some other directory means you can just say that uh, folder name and uh, uh, pass it so for now I'll just uh, have it as a uh, dot run this in the current directory run this in the folder which has docker file okay let's also run this copy paste it now you can see it is uh, building the uh, docker uh, image for us see you can see it is executing the steps one by one I just copying and installing all the things so we already uh, ran the docker desktop in the backend so if you want to run the docker uh, image which we created we have to use to run the docker image use the following command so the after uh, exporting the image you can run it from uh, anywhere so docker run deploy it will just deploy that uh, image and uh, port you have to specify the incoming and outgoing port so we have specified here as like 5000 and outgoing also I'll just connect it as like uh, 5000 so 5000 port only we are going to use and the image name so image name we named it as uh, iris flask app so I'll just have iris flask app so let's just copy this run this so we have to see the docker desktop to check the status now you can see so it's just uh, started running if you go inside it you can see this is the console uh, messages or logs you can see the server is running in this uh, 
same local host along with the port you can also change the port uh, if you want in the customization currently the debug mode is on but uh, you can uh, turn it off as well uh, if you are doing in a production level environment we can cover that in a separate video now that the docker is running let's go to that uh, port see same local uh, port now let's uh, again pass some uh, parameters or uh, input now for that input it's showing iris setosa so this is as is easy as it is once you develop the flask application it's just a matter of time you can uh, uh, develop a docker fire and uh, deploy it as an image you can also share this image to uh, anyone so you can see uh, you can also do some customization and allocate the container cpu usage and the memory usage as well with the additional customizations which you can check it in the docker uh, uh, website but this is a beginner level tutorial like how you can deploy the model uh, using docker so that's pretty much it guys uh, if you have any queries about this uh, video please leave a comment below i will definitely help you apart from that uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video